Hello and welcome back. So today's video is meaning of community. And this one's actually really huge for me. Um, I have loved Harry Potter for years. And a big part of that love is that community, that friendship. It's part of why I like Wizards Unite as much as I do. Um, it's something I've really looked for since finding out about HEDS and developed and tried to develop a community that is inclusive of everyone that people can learn and grow and not be put down, but also that doesn't encourage people to make things seem worse than they are just to be able to try and get the diagnosis that they need, rather to try and educate on the truth of what that diagnosis is, that there's hope, everything else, so that doctors can see that. Can A doctor can go on my channel and see everything that I've shared and see I'm not trying to make it seem worse than it is, anything else, and that they can literally take what they've seen on my channel, look at one of their patients and say, you know what, they do have that. No, they aren't throwing up every single day numerous times a day. That doesn't mean they don't may not have GI issues. Maybe there's other symptoms of those. They don't dislocate every single day, an obvious dislocation where they have to go to the hospital to have it put back in. That's not required for HEDS, and they can see that. They can see that they don't have to score a 9 on the Brighton scale when they're 50, or even as a child. They don't have to score that to have HEDS. That there are multiple types of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, that they may not even have HEDS. They may have a different type of EDS. Vascular EDS, huge. If you have any suspicion of that, a doctor should be testing for it because it is so huge that that be found young so that it can be treated appropriately, that they can be watched for the problems that can come with it. Lives can be saved if doctors can realize that you don't have to have major symptoms to have EDS. And sadly, many people with EDS are being told to make their symptoms seem even worse so that they can get the diagnosis, so they can get the treatment that they honestly need without making it seem worse. And that's sad. We shouldn't have to do that as a community. Instead, we need to educate. Educate, educate, educate is huge. The more we can find the doctors, the physical therapists, things like that, that are willing to help educate their peers and find those and spread the word about those and have, maybe we don't have access to one of them ourselves, but if we can then find doctors who we can refer to them, who are willing to contact them and find out more, then information can grow and be shared. My doctor, um, when I was diagnosed, knew nothing about EDS at all. And me and my son were diagnosed. And so we started talking about treatments, everything else, and he started educating himself. He's now one of the ones that is actually shared a lot, not just by me, but by other people in our, not just my city, but my state, because he cares and he tries to help other doctors learn about it. And he actually, I know when I was diagnosed, he started to say, hey, I have other patients, I think, have EDS because they have very similar symptoms and I'm going to learn more because I want to help them out the best they can. 
So that's what I think community is, is helping each other out through the hard times, helping each other uh, c coordinate those doctors who are willing to learn. I really wish the echo was available even more so for doctors at more times. That's one thing my personal doctor and my physical therapist has brought up. So that's my feeling on the meaning of community. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.